Hi everybody, this is your teacher Barbara Rademacher and I received an interesting question today. How can I study math? And I thought, well there are books and books written on that, but why don't I tell you how I study math and how I think math could best be studied by somebody like me. Of course that depends on learning style. So here is on my math lab that I made especially for this purpose. And here's the menu over here. And what I did, let me show you, I, I clicked on assignments. I made three assignments here. And I'm going to pretend that, well, I'm going to do this homework assignment. And I click on it. Now, here's objective two the part of the book that talks about um, the question that's being asked and then here's the actual homework question. You get credit for both. Oh my! That has to be the ugliest question ever asked. Let me see if I can make it a little bigger. Have you ever seen anything that ugly? My goodness, it's uglier than a math teacher in the morning, and that's pretty ugly. Okay, well, I'm lost. How am I going to do that? Well, the first thing I would do is, uh, well, I could go to question help. I was stopping to think about what is the first thing I would do and I would say, let's look at the assigned media. Now this is objective two, the video that, that we saw when we went in. Here it is, right there. And what this does, what this does is, it actually reads you the book. So let's see. Here. Let's start this. Just a just a minute or so. Only you probably can't hear it. What this person is doing is reading. Here's the rule. Now I'm going to rush through this. And now for instance, here's a here's a problem and the person is explaining step by step. And and so what they do is they go through the book. These are examples in the book and rules in the book about exponents. If you don't want to just sit and read the book, you can actually get someone to read the book for you, right here. Now there are other things that will help you as well. For instance, let's go to Question Helps. Help Me Solve This actually tells you how to solve this problem. Here we go. All right, here's the problem. And it, you're told about the problem. You're given the rule. And then you're asked to do this step by step. So if I were going to do this step by step, here's what I would do. I would say, OK, here's a fraction. It's a rational expression, which is an ugly fraction an algebraic expression. Okay, now this negative 5 power applies to both the numerator and the denominator because they're both in the parentheses. So what this step is doing, this would be the first step, is I would type negative 5 here and negative 5 here which means my next step would be to raise 
all of this to the negative 5 power and all of this to the negative 5 power. I check my answer. Well done! And it continues from there, asking you to fill in the, uh, the steps or the next step in this case that you would perform. It's not the same problem. It's a new problem. That's the problem, if you will, with help me solve this. It does help you solve it, and then the problem you're working on, and then it takes you to a new problem where you can, uh, you can work on it yourself. View an example is probably better. View an example leaves the original problem uh, over just beyond where, you're, where the screen is showing here and um, gives you a problem very, very similar and then actually takes you through the steps yourself. Click on Continue, click on Continue, Step by Step. like that and then you close. Well suppose that still isn't good enough. Let's click on question helps. Notice the textbook is here. There's a link to the part of the textbook R section 7 that talks about that. Here's the textbook. Properties of Exponents and Scientific Notation. All right, and here's the first page. And then we can go to the next page and the next page and the next page. And you get to actually read the book yourself. There are some people who learn better that way. Okay, now let's go back to question helps. It's not plural, it's just question help. Ask my instructor, I think, is one of the more productive ways to study math because this goes directly to my email. There we go. And I'm going to type a very important message here. I'm going to click send. It goes right to my email along with a link to this version of the problem so I can see what the problem is. Now, get that in the frame. There we go. Ask My Instructor is right here. I'm going to open it and bring it down into view. This is a link to the original problem. All I have to do is click on it and I am taken to this problem and I can see what the problem was. Not only that, but see this important message that I typed? Let's see if I can make that bigger so you can see it. No, I can't. Control plus will not work on this. What a pity. Anyway, your message underneath appears underneath the link. Your message appears underneath the link and then I can read it and see what your questions are. It's a great way to get help with problems and to study. So there you go. All the ways I know of to study, but the best way to study math for me is this. Note cards. You write an example problem on the front 
and then notes on the back. I highly recommend them and you have to actually look at them every day. Read through them every day. It'll help you memorize all these rules and formulas and equations that you have to study in math. Okay, those are my words of wisdom for, for today. Enjoy.